I'm Blair Gilbert here from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores here to show you the most common mistake when folks install a GFCI for the first time. When you get a GFCI and you look on the back side, it's got line, it's got a brass screw for the black wire, it's got a white screw for the white wire, and it also says white. Line is where the power line is going to come into this GFCI. If we we're going to feed more circuits downstream, that's what the load part of this GFCI is for. Here lies in the problem. Most people, amateurs I should say, will bring the power into the load side. Load is output. Line, power line, is input. Simple as that. You install GFCI, it's going to be the last thing you run to line. If you install this in your garage and you have numerous receptacles down that wall, they would come off the load. This one GFCI would control all those other receptacles down the wall. So, putting in a GFCI, stand alone, line is where your power goes, not load. Quick tip, MrHardware.com.